On Sunday, basketball celebrated the 57th anniversary of the Texas Western Miners, 1966 national championship team. Glory Road, the first team in college basketball history to start five black players and win a national championship. Led by head coach Don Haskins, their victory over Kentucky paved the way for so many in our modern game today. It's why we celebrate them each year. Number 33, the man in the middle, Neville Shedd. He lives right here in San Antonio. And on the anniversary, we caught up with him as to just how much more meaningful it gets as each year passes. I just kept my mind sharp that I can go back, you know, into the times and the hardships. And yes, we went, we went through hell. Coach Haskin did a heck of a, a job of shielding us from that. But you see how just in the movie, you know, the togetherness that we had, you know. And that's what makes it so good to see that even back there, you know, we were, we were uh, uh, um, achieving something that was so necessary for us today to not, it's not just, you know, your color. You know, it's just, you know, it's, a, it's your character. And this year, providing a little more emotion than years past. Willie Cager, number 10 on that Miners team, passed away Sunday at the age of 81. Now, Cager still made residence in El Paso, Texas, which is where the now UTEP is located. But in particular, Cager and Shedd were extremely close. They grew up together in the Bronx, just outside New York City, were recruited to go to Texas Western, having never been there before. A couple city boys in the West Texas town of El Paso. And they maintained a close relationship long after that 66 title. Speaking on his former teammates passing, pa passing shed on the almost poetic way it happened on the 57 year anniversary. It was God's work of, you know, maybe igniting the, the, the importance of that game there. You know, we, we always said, you know, we live and die for glory, you know, and, uh, you know, for it to happen on March 19th, you know. You know, those many years ago, you know, and for it to happen, Coach Hass got a heck of a five up there now, you know. Um, he's in a competitive arena there, but, you know, but for him, you know, it's, it's just, I guess it's just part of the, of, of the journey, part of Glory Road. You've seen the movie, you know exactly what Neville Shedd's talking about. And full disclosure, Willie Cager still kept going to every single UTEP basketball game long after his playing days. He was a regular at the Don Haskins Center. I used to cover the UTEP Miners. That was my previous market before moving out here. It was impossible to walk into the Haskins Center without giving Cager a, a little fist bump in the corner and a hello. He's an icon in the lives of young athletes, players, coaches that he touched over his tenure. Immeasurable. I'll see you coming up later tonight.